Ibn Qayyim al-Jawzi rahimahullah ta'ala, he said, inna a'zama turkish shaytan al-abd al-shahawat wa shubuhat. Indeed, the most severest path of the shaytan, the devil, upon the slave of Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala is to make that slave follow his desires and to make that slave fall into the doubtful affairs, the affairs that are not certain with that individual. And for this reason, I direct my noble believing brothers and sisters to the statement of Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala. And that is when he said, إِنَّمَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا بِاللَّهِ وَرَسُولِ ثُمَّ لَمْ يَرْتَابُوا And indeed, the true believers, the believers that are true in Iman, are those that believe in Allah, and they believe in the Messenger of Allah. They believe in everything that Allah Taala revealed in His book. Everything that He commanded, they follow it. And everything that He forbade, they stay away from it. And they understand that Allah Taala has sent a messenger, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And everything that he commanded, we follow it. Because that is what is good for the human being. And that is what is good for that person's stay in this life. And similarly, the person's ending. And similarly, the person's stay in his grave. And similarly, the standing of that person before the one that created him, Tabaraka wa Ta'ala. So we follow the Prophet وسلم, in everything that he has commanded. And everything that he has forbade us from, we stay away from it. Because this is what Allah Taala sent him with. He sent him with revelation and guidance and direction for the human being. So Ibn Qayyim al-Jawzi rahimahullah ta'ala, he said, وَأَمَّا الشَّهَوَاتِ فَهِيَا تُفْسِدُ sabr." As for an individual following his desires, then it causes that individual to lose patience. وَأَمَّا الشُّبُهَاتِ فَإِنَّهَا تُفْسِدُ yaqeen. As for the individual following the doubtful affairs, then it makes that individual fall or lose his certainty and trust in Allah Tabaraka wa ta'ala. My noble believing brothers and sisters, you have to find yourselves. Time is running out. You're getting older. Life is not going to last forever. You're getting weaker. Your faculties are decreasing. You have to take time to find yourselves. You have to take time to study the religion of purity. The way of cleanliness. The way of truthfulness. The way of guidance and direction. You have to bring your hearts to life. You have to start learning how to pray your salah. You have to start learning how to worship Allah in the way that He has commanded you to worship Him. You have to stop being dependent upon other human beings and learn to be dependent upon Allah and learn to seek help from Allah and understand that if it is that you develop this in your lives and your hearts that nothing is going to overcome you nothing is going to conquer you because you are going to have certainty in Allah and you are going to have certainty in Islam and you are going to have certainty in the Sunnah you are going to remove the doubts that are placed in your hearts from the evil callers that we are surrounded by in multitudes, in every community that follow the traditions of Trinidad and Tobago, that follow the desires that are always looking for handouts are always looking to receive the imams of this country, the muftis of this country, 
the Maulanas of this country. They have permitted the Muslims to sing and dance and party. They have permitted the Muslims to go out with the parties, the different groups, and invite the people to vote. Sisters dancing on the streets, wearing hijabs, dancing on the streets, waving flags. But when are you going to wake up? When are you going to be sincere? If it is that these imams and leaders want to take the responsibility of misleading the people for a dollar, for a handout, then they're going to find their recompense with Allah. And that recompense is going to be severe. What is going to be your excuse on the day of standing, O Abdullah? What are you going to say when it is that you join sometimes and you laugh and have fun? You see our brothers and sisters disobedient and you follow the traditions of the people by laughing and there is no hatred in your heart for this evil deed. My noble brothers and sisters, Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala informed us in his book, Allahu fala ghaliba lakum. And if it is that Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala aids you, then who is going to overcome you? If it is that the Lord of the worlds, the one who has created you and created everything that you see, the one that is responsible for your sustenance, the one that is responsible for you waking up in the morning, the one that is responsible for the rain and the sun, the one that is responsible for your food and your family, the one that is responsible for your hearts. If it is that he aids you, then who is going to overcome you? And if it is that Allah Taala forsakes you, then who is there to aid you after him? Who is there to aid you after Allah? This is why Allah, the mighty and the majestic, he said next, وَعَلَى اللَّهِ فَلْيَتَوَكَّلِ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ And it is upon Allah whom the true believers put all of their trusts. Not upon political parties. Not upon human beings. The people of true iman, they put their trust upon Allah. As we had mentioned the earlier verse, and indeed, the mu'minun, the true believers, are those people who believe in Allah and His Messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And they do not have doubts as it relates to their iman and their faith. They do not have doubts in what was revealed to them in the Quran and what was shown to them by the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam These are the ones that are truthful in their Iman How is it that we can be individuals that are fooled so easily? The population of Muslims in this country is approximately 13% And the population of human beings that live upon this country is more than one million people. Which means that equates to the Muslims being more than 130,000 Muslims. More than 130,000 Muslims. And how is it that Allah wa ta'ala can aid us? How can he aid us when we do not know how to worship Allah? Over 130,000 Muslims and I'm guaranteeing you, I am guaranteeing you that more than 100,000 Muslims of that 130, which is just an average, that
that I'm giving you in terms of numbers, they do not know how to pray their salah, which they pray five times a day. So how was Allah going to help you? And this is why we turn to human beings for help. This is why we turn to politics for help. This is why we depend on evil callers for direction because the shaitan has easily deceived us. We don't have any defense. We don't have any tawheed in our hearts. We don't have iman in our hearts. We don't have an immune system as we know it for the body which fights off diseases. The immune system for the believer is his iman, his faith. And if he does not work on building his faith, then he has no immune system. And this is why we see many people, they get led astray very easily. They follow the likes of ISIS. They follow the likes of Al-Qaeda. They follow the likes of Al-Shabaab. And all of the different evil parties and groups where the people, they are so vulnerable. Whatever comes to them, they get on a hype and they jump on that ship until it is too late. As for the individual that is called Saddam Hussein, then I say to you, as a brother in Islam, may Allah wa ta'ala rectify your affairs and my affairs. You have started off on a wrong note. How is it that you can come into the Muslim communities and encourage sisters to dance around on your trucks? How is it that you can come into the Muslim communities and drive by the houses of worship And play music which is haram. And the people that are your allies and helpers are people that are alcoholics, drunkards. People that have no stability in mind and faith. How is it? What is your excuse? Alhamdulillah, we understand the customs of the people. They're going to say, well, the imam said it was okay. And when you go to the imams and you ask them, they're going to say, well, we didn't tell the sisters to go about dancing on the trucks. But you didn't tell them that it was haram, did you? You don't tell the leaders that are going up for elections that music is haram. Because you want a position. Because your goal is economics. And your goal is not Islam. Your goal is not Islam. Your goal is not direction. Your goal is not rectification of communities. Your goal is not to direct the people. Your goal is not to teach the people. Your goals are to deceive the people. And to have followers. And to mislead the people concerning the religion of Al-Islam. And Islam is free from all of these calls. And all of these evil deeds. And this is why in those communities, most of the deviated people arise. Most of the people who call to deviation and misguidance. And harming non-Muslims, they come from these communities. Because these communities are voided of knowledge. They're voided of knowledge of Allah's book. And the sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Islam is a religion of kindness and mercy and love and compassion and tolerance. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was kind to the non-Muslims. Merciful, peaceful, good in words and direction, helping humanity, 
sharing, giving. And was more in the giving end. He was always there to help the people and direct the people to save the people. And he didn't seek a recompense. We do not give da'wah in this country in order to get some recompense from the government. We do not call to Allah to tawheed and monotheism in order that the UNC or the PNM give us a piece of land. Our da'wah and our work is binding upon our hearts as a service to Allah firstly and an act of obedience and worship and the means of directing the human beings that lived around us, that live around us so that we may help them and direct them and save them. Save them from what we can in the life of this world. Whatever we have the ability to do, we do it. But more importantly, save them from everlasting punishment in the life of the hereafter. And this is where it all counts. And if it is that Allah forsakes you, then who is there to help you after him, O oh Abdullah?